We have not been out of our cabin at all, except we're lucky we could go out on a balcony. Uh, we wake up every morning, and you can look out the window and see what level of uh, B disaster movie we're in. And um, this morning, uh, about an hour ago, um, there were just some taxis and things on the dock, so I was feeling pretty optimistic. I took a shower, and now there must be 40 or more ambulances and uh, emergency vehicles, some military vehicles. They have um, fire trucks lined up uh, along the gangway where people are taken out into ambulances. And the fire trucks seem to be there to block the view of the media. Of course, that doesn't block my view from the balcony right above what's going on. So, um, it, it, you know, it, we're a little later, a day later here in Japan. And so the 135 figures is from yesterday for us. And um, uh, from the ambulances, I see, I have the first clue, there's more cases. The Japanese government says if we're healthy, we get off on the 19th. But I don't, I'm not going to trust that statement um, because so many more are getting sick. Um, I, I don't know what they're going to do with us. Our, our wish, our fervent hope is the United States government is working on a plan to get the 400 Americans out of here. Uh, we've been told by our medical people at a, at a pretty high level um, that uh, quarantining well people with sick people is a crazy idea, and you never do it. Now, even though we're segregated in the room here, we have not been tested. So, for instance, I don't know if I'm positive and my husband's negative. And um, I don't know um, if any contacts we've, we've had, people we ate dinner with, any of those people have been positive. 